Hey guys, listen, we are coming to you with an exclusive. We have Gerardo Suniga. Who is that you ask? That is the man that has over a decade of insight investigative reporting he, in Mexico, in the Cabos area, where Shanquilla Robinson tragically lost her life. Now, why should that name be important to you? Because this man is the source. That's right. Ask and you shall receive. A lot of you guys were like, how do we know that, that she was actually picked up? How do we know this? How do we know that um, Dejeuner is in custody? And I said, baby, ask and you shall receive. We went straight to the source. But not only that, check your references. This man is the source for CNN, for ABC News, the Metropolis MX newspaper that he writes for as an investigative reporter with over 10 years of experience. This is the article and the investigation that has been cited for every news station. For every newspaper, no matter how big and small, and yes, for every vlogger. We got him live and direct, and he is a he is answering all the questions you want to know. For instance, how do we have verifiable fact that Dejanay Jackson was actually arrested? Why weren't the others arrested? Why was only one arrest warrant issued? Why is the doctor, what is going on with the doctor and the people on the Mexican side that they are accusing them of corruption? Why are they accusing them of corruption? You guys, hold tight. We have the interview. It's coming up now. This is going to be a multi-part. We had a three-hour conversation. We are breaking it up for you so you can actually watch it without dedicating three hours going back. You guys, the, what he sheds on us is amazing. You guys wanted the verified proof. You guys wanted the source. We got CNN's source. We got ABC's source. We got Good Morning America and every single newspaper in uh, North Carolina. We, this is the source, okay? Now, with all things, of course, do your research. Take it with a grain of salt. However, please know that this is the person on the uh, inside. He is the first person to look at the police report and leak it out. He is the person, first person to leak that there was an arrest warrant. He has deep ties in the police station. And it looks like he is also getting information from Daniel De La Rosa, who is the attorney general. Again, you guys, you wanted the source. You want a verifiable fact. Here we have. I do want to say this before we get into the interview. This is going to be a multi-part interview. So come back to the channel. We'll be posting throughout the day into tomorrow. We're going to be clarifying a lot of things. It's coming right from the person that broke the story and literally is the investigative reporter that found the police report, the death report, everything. He was the first person to break that the maid, I'm sorry, that the uh, nurse, doctor, police officers, and also there are municipal authorities that are under investigation. However, he does this for a living and there are other cases he has to focus on. I am putting his cash app here. You guys, please donate to Shanquilla Robinson's um, if you can. And if you can't, please share the information to somebody that can to her fund because the parents are in for a long legal battle and also investigators. Let's not forget they're paying for a private autopsy. Mr. Suniga, Gerardo Suniga, is the reason the story went viral. He is the reason that it was it is on a national stage he put it on a national stage yes black twitter youtube bloggers we did our job but with mr sunica he helped get international attention the world is watching and the world are, is watching and reading his reports let's make sure he can be thorough here is mr sunica's cash app he is very modest but i want him to have whatever he needs to focus on this and complete his investigation and i also want to thank him for seeing a case that was overlooked by the world, seeing how much we thought it was important and banging the raptors, banging every uh, a pan he could, shaking the table and joining our voices and amplifying it until the world couldn't look away. I think he deserves something. And it's it's heartening to know what's going on in this case and the way that Shinkola actually is getting justice. Anyway, here's this cash app. Let's get into the interview. Let's go. Let's go back to um the to Dijonet. Uh 
there was a warrant issued, right? She is currently in custody. Is that correct? Because can we verify that? We've heard, I would know he reported it, but um, how did he verify that she's currently in custody? So, ella, ella solamente quiere que usted le verifique de que Dejanay si, um, que, que si ella está, la están buscando, que la van a extraditar y, y solamente para que usted confirme eso. Sí, de hecho yo este, yo este, revisé la información hoy con gente okay. de la fiscalía okay. y me confirmaron la detención de, de Jackson. Es correcto. Sí, eh, está detenida, está bajo custodia del FBI. Okay. Eh, fue detenida en Estados Unidos la noche de ayer. Y okay. muy seguramente en cualquier momento eh, las autoridades, creo que de Estados Unidos, van a dar a conocer la noticia de la captura de, de ella. ¿Por qué mm. no la han dado a conocer? Por una simple y sencilla razón. Están con el tema del uh, papeleo, de los documentos, de todo eso tiene que ver. Entonces, retrasa un poco la, la, la información para que se haga de manera oficial. Yes, so he did confirm it that she is under arrest with the um, FBI um, and they are hoping that she'll be in Mexico soon. Um, mm. So he did look over the paperwork um, and he has been confirmed. ¿Por qué usted dijo que no lo ha confirmado um, los Estados Unidos, usted cree? Por el tiempo del papeleo, tienen que, es, son, son procesos de atención donde tienen que elaborar documentos para poder de manera oficial presentarla. No, no, no lo pueden hacer así nada más. Este, tienen que llevar un proceso. Por eso okay. es que, que Estados Unidos, eh, yo creo que va a tardar eh, unos días en dar a conocer de manera oficial la captura. So she was, she was captured yesterday, um, last night, and he believes that the reason why the U.S. hasn't released the information is because there's still due process that needs to be done, and they're waiting on everything um, to release the information to the public. Okay, so go uh, please, uh, De hecho, por ejemplo, eh, para poder hacer el procedimiento, nada más para que la audiencia tenga una, una idea más clara, eh, la, la Fiscalía de Baja California Sur tiene que solicitarle a la Fiscalía General de la República de México la orden de captura y de arresto, tuvo que hacer eso, y después la Fiscalía tiene que solicitarle la información, entregarle la información a Relaciones Exteriores. Entonces, okay. Relaciones Exteriores le entrega a la Interpol. Entonces, okay. es un proceso yeah. un poco borroso, por eso el tiempo... The, que lleva es un poco lento. Okay, so he's explaining how things take place in Mexico. So okay. he had to go through different departments and different investigators in Mexico. And then when he went to the Interpol, so that's perhaps why it's taking a while for the information to be released. Okay. But Dejeuner, does he have any idea where Dejeuner was uh, picked up at? What state? Or does it just say she's in custody? ¿Usted sabe en qué estado fue que ella fue capturada o, o dónde está en custodia? Eh, no, todavía no tenemos esa información, estamos corroborando. Yo creo que para el día de mañana vamos a dar a conocer todos los detalles de, ese, de esa detención. ¿Por okay. qué? Porque lo que sí confirmamos fue su captura. Okay. Me lo confirmó un funcionario de, de la fiscalía. Okay. Entonces, esa información ya, ya, este, ya les llegó a ellos. Entonces, okay. pero no lo pueden dar a conocer de manera oficial todavía. Okay. So they still can release that information, but he believes mm -hmm. that tomorrow um, that information will be released. Um, he says okay. that, yes, yeah, so he says a prosecutor um, actually spoke to him and confirmed that she was in custody, but he, they don't know yet where she was captured. Okay. Where she was being detained. Okay. Um, a question. Um, we'll come back to the bribery and the doctor and the police, but I have a question. Why was there only one arrest warrant issued? Did they um, not see evidence on the tape that the other ones committed crimes, um, uh, that the other ones committed crimes with her? Okay. Ella quiere saber que por qué solamente hay una sola persona que está siendo extraditada a Mexico 
¿por qué no los otros participantes no están sido, no están, no lo están exaditando tan bien y no le están, um, no lo están culpando de nada? Si no hay suficiente evidencia para eso. Eh, primero que nada, eh, es la única persona, eh, hasta ahorita ella es la única persona porque es la, la que es la agresora directa de Shankela, okay. es la, la que la agrede y la golpea, eh, como se ve en el video. Cuando ella llega a México, extraditada a Estados Unidos, eh, como te dije ahorita, ella va a tener que decir quiénes más eh, estaban en la habitación, que ya se sabe quiénes estaban, pero ella lo tiene que decir okay. para que sirva como testigo de okay. cargo para poder de alguna manera este, fincar responsabilidades contra las otras personas que estaban. Okay. Eh, no va a ser la única detenida. Hay, hay varias personas relacionadas, pero eso la fiscalía lo va a tener que determinar eh, cuando termine eh, la investigación. Primero van por la primera, por la persona responsable directa de la agresión y enseguida okay. las otras personas que que participaron en este en este crimen. So the reason why she's the only one that has been extradited is because mm -hmm. she was the direct aggressor. Mm -hmm. um, so they're hoping that once they get her in and they're able to um, interview her um, and interrogate her, that she'll mention who else was an accomplice and who else was present. But they are looking into the others as well. Um, but they they kind of want to just get Um, her story first to then make the decision um, as to who else will be extradited. So it sounds like, to me, it sounds like there's definitely crimes that have been committed, but because they were never interviewed, they don't have anyone technically in a lie. Right now they know who delivered the death blow but to see the extent of how they can charge and how everybody else was involved, they would actually need her statement of some sort to start attaching. Like, okay, you're lying, you did this, you did this. Okay, so ella dice, entonces lo que pasa es, como usted dijo, que porque ella es la, la persona que últimamente, últimamente mató a Chanquila, si ellos están esperando de que ella sea la que explique todo lo que pasó para después decidir eh, quién más fue participante en, en el asesinato de Chanquila. Es correcto, así es, es correcto. That's correct. eh, yes. Okay, that's correct. Um, okay, so that's great. Um, um, let's stay on Dejeuner for a second. There were rumors that she was a man. She is in fact a woman, correct? Usted sabe, había un rumor de que Dejané quizá era un hombre o un... ¿Sabe sí. si ella es mujer sí. o es hombre? Inicialmente se manejó esa versión por, por unos comentarios que hicieron unos trabajadores del, eh, de ahí de la, de la villa donde estaban hospedados, que hablaban que se quitaba una peluca y luego se la ponía. Entonces, oh, esa situación so, era una confusión en, so, en, todo, because, en todos los medios, en toda okay. la gente, porque so, creían que era hombre. So Pero this no, rumor actually es, came... Corrijo, no, no es hombre, es mujer. Okay, so he can confirm that she's in fact a woman. I guess the rumor started um, from some of the workers at the villa. Um, they saw her switching her, her wig or I'm not sure if she had a um, lace front or... Um, oh, okay. So they, they thought she might have been a man, but it's been confirmed that she's in fact a woman. Okay, so she is in fact a woman. And we need Dejeuner, I'm just recapping also. So we need Dejeuner here to, co to confront the other, not confront, but to give a statement uh, for other people so they can piece the rest of the case together. I want you to ask them, once she's on Mexican soil, and we'll do it like step by step so he doesn't have to give a long answer. Yes. What's the once she's back on Mexico soil, because right now she's being detained, and for everybody that's watching, when she is on Mexican soil, then she will officially be arrested. Then they will ask her. So Mexican soil arrested, they will ask her to talk. Let's just say she says, "I'm not talking." What happens to her then? So ella quiere saber cuando Dejanay llegue a México, 
eh, si ya no quiere hablar, ¿qué pasa? Eh, de todas maneras, la van a, las pruebas que tienen eh, prácticamente la, la incriminan eh, como a la agresora. Okay. Eh, tendrá que declarar, si no quiere declarar, aquí en México se, hay un derecho que es acogerse al artículo 20 constitucional para no declarar. Okay. Eh, si no quiere declarar, lo puede hacer, pero todas las pruebas de descargo van a caer sobre ella. Okay. Entonces, aquí lo que pudiera ella hacer es en un momento dado es, es eh, negociar con el Ministerio Público para que su, y con el juez para que su pena no sea tan alta y uh -huh. poder delatar a las, a las personas que participaron con ella. Eso es lo que ella puede hacer si no quiere pasar tantos años en prisión. So, she can in fact um, decide that she doesn't want to um, talk to the prosecutors. Um, there's actually a law in Mexico that allows her to do that. However, there's proof. Um, so, they can have the trial solely based on that truth. Um, oh. Yes. Um, and ultimately, what she can do is basically come to an agreement with the prosecutor and the judge and um, basically rat on her friends so that her sentence will be perhaps less time or I'm not sure, work something out with them that way. But okay. she would ultimately have to um, speak against her friends. Okay, but my question is, do we need her to speak against her friends to get her friends on a, 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 a assisting in a cover up of murder? Ella quiere saber si usted sabe si en, de verdad necesitan que ella testifique y hable sobre lo que los amigos participaron en, en tratar de encubrir un, un, un asesinato. Um, si en de verdad lo necesitan a ella o si, si ella decide no hablar contra ellos, si ellos todavía pueden. Um, presionar cargos contra los amigos. Sí, sí pueden presentar cargos porque mm -hmm. hay el video, la persona que grabó el video okay. está prácticamente encubrió el homicidio al estar okay. grabando y no haber intervenido. Okay. Y la chica de Benovan que también estaba ahí, eh, también, eh, cuando menos ellos dos van a tener que, que eh, hay elementos para fincarle responsabilidades. Okay. Eh, pero todo tiene que ver, eh, vamos a decir, el, el, la testificación de esta chica Jackson es importante. Okay. Pero si no fuera, ella no quisiera hablar este, con los elementos que tiene la, la fiscalía, pudiera eh, eh, librarles orden de arresto en, en un momento dado, si lo determina eh, un juez, si el, si el juez le concede esa orden de captura. Ok, so they don't necessarily need her. Mm -hmm. um, to press charges against her friends. They are hoping that she does corroborate um, so that they have basically more proof against them. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, a judge can make that decision and allow them to press charges um, for the two that were present um, and the one recording the video um, because that video serves as proof that they were particip participants. And the two participants are, there was, a, of course, Dejeuner, there Dejeuner. was another woman, and there was a man. Those are the participants they have. Que usted, sa usted sabe los participantes han confirmado como Dejeuner, otra mujer y otras dos personas. Sabe, usted sabe exactamente quiénes. De los que estuvieron en el, el momento de la grabación son ellos. Ok. Eh, los otros no aparecen, no, no estaban dentro de la habitación. Puede decirlo. otro lado, no, 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 no estaban ahí dentro de la habitación. Puede confirmar los nombres, era um, de Janay. De Janay era. Um, um, Creo Cali. que. Cali. Cali. Y de Winter. En Winter. En Winter. Ellos tres. Bueno. So, so, they, mm -hmm. so that sí. so only, only they were present, is what he's saying. But why not? But in the video that we saw, it looked like. Everybody was present. 
Hey guys, so listen, that was the explosive part one and I had to leave it here because the next interview, which I'm going to post either later on today or tomorrow morning, actually I'll do it later on today, is going to blow your mind. We're going to find out why the police are focusing on Winter Donovan, Khalil Cook, and Dejanay Jackson. The other ones are not off the hook. He's going to explain that, but it's explosive what the police and their version of the video actually says. Also, we're going to address the multiple videos what's going on with that what's going on for jail time and also the nurse and doctors and whatnot why are they not investigated you guys he is spilling tea i'll see you guys soon in the meantime please let me know what you think in the comments please be respectful guys we all want chanquilla to get her justice okay and also just to let you know I'm going to work hard to get um, the rest of this three-hour interview out. There are so many things he explains. I'm actually excited about this. In the meantime, you have uh, the Cash App. And in addition, please donate to Shinkola's Fund. All right, guys. See you for part two. Bye.